So the All Blacks versus Italy match is just around the corner. We know it's a three horse race in Poway, but the big question mark is who walks away with this victory. In this preview, we'll be looking through at the starting lineups, also looking through at the key players alongside previous results and a prediction at the end of who we think will be walking away with the victory. But we will jump straight into it. The All Blacks, they have made quite a few changes compared to what they had in their last game up against Namibia. They did have a rest week prior to this, now back. And quite a few injury returns for the ABs. In this lineup, number one, Offa Toinga Fasi, number two, Cody Taylor, and number three, Nipolo Lala. So opting to go with the two Blues props who were both out of form. Is that too harsh? They were shit. So the two props who did struggle in that game up against Namibia, they have opted to keep them in that starting lineup, hoping that they'll find form before heading towards those quarterfinals. Then in the lock and jaw, it is Brody Retallick at number four with Scott Barrett number five. A very strong combo for the ABs. A lot of experience under their belt and going to be playing a physical game of rugby. In the loose forward trio, a return at number six of Shannon Frizzell, number seven, Dalton Papali, and then number eight, Adi Savia. And he will also be captain for the All Blacks in this game. In the back line, it is Aaron Smith at number nine with Richie Moonga. At 10, so making two changes compared to the last game, in which it was Roy Gard and McKenzie out on the left wing. Returning into the starting side, it is Mark Talia. And then the midfield, another return. But for a different reason, Jordy Barrett back at number 12 after his knee injury. Number 13, Rico Ioani. Number 14, Will Jordan. And then number 15 to close out the side for the All Blacks. It is Bowden Barrett looking through at the Italians. At number one, Daniello Fischetti. Number two, Giacomo Nicotera. And number three, Marco Riccioni. Number 14, Olam. And number five, Federico Ruza. So a lot less experience in that department than the two in the All Blacks kit. But still, two very handy locks in the loose forward trio. It will be Sebastian Negri. At number six, number seven, it is the captain, Mikel Lamaro. And then number eight, it is Lorenzo Canoni. So that is what consistently the Italians have gone with throughout this Rugby World Cup. Not mixing it up. Unlike what the All Blacks are doing in the back line. Number 9, Stephen Varney. And number 10, Paolo Garbisi. The Italians, they took a risk in their last contest up against Uruguay. Decided to switch up their side completely to see whether or not it would work out. I'm talking Garbisi at number 12. Capuzio at number 15. Tommaso Allen moving to 10. It didn't really work. So they've decided to go back to what does. For the Italians, number 11, it is Monte Ioani. Number 12, they have gone with Luca Morisi. And number 13, Juan Inacio Brix. Number 14, and Capuzzo. And then number 15, to close out the side, it is Tommaso Allen. But looking through at the key players for these two sides, for the All Blacks, they've got quite a few returns compared to what they did have in that last game up against Namibia. The first key player for the All Blacks that I will be going with is Jordy Barrett. Returning into the starting side, after his knee injury, he will be important throughout this fixture. And I feel like Havili and Anton Leonard Brown, they haven't done too badly when filling in at inside centre. But for Jordy Barrett, I think something that the All Blacks are missing a little bit is his long boot. They've been kicking a lot recently, the ABs. But unfortunately, playing the territory game with some of these Northern Hemisphere sides, you're never going to win it. So you need someone with that little bit more distance, push the opposition further back in their 22. And that is definitely... What Geordie Barrett offers, also pretty safe under the high ball for if it does go into a kicking battle. Although I believe for the All Blacks in this game, their key to success will be running rugby rather than putting up the kicks. But looking through at another key player for the ABs in that four pack, I feel like Scott Barrett. Oh, I'm just picking the Barretts. I sound like Ian Foster. I will go with Scott Barrett though. He is a very handy player. He's been in some pretty good form throughout 2023. His physicality. We saw that massive hit that he put on to take McDermott. And the Bledisloe Cup. I know it was a little while ago, but that kind of aggression is something the ABs may have been lacking in a few of their previous fixtures. They haven't really been dominant in the breakdown, and this is the perfect game to be able to show that they can be, because they've got some big games just around the corner, up against the likes of the Irish, maybe, in the quarterfinals. Going to be important that they enforce their physicality. And then the last key player for the All Blacks, someone who's been in some pretty decent form recently, Mark Talia out on that left wing. Now defensively, there's been a few gaps, but I believe that is just because of the caliber of opposition that he has yet to mark up against. Pun intended, I guess. Ah, bloody hell, I've got them all. I think I'm dehydrated. So that could be because of the caliber of opposition he's been up against, but Mark Delia on attack at the moment, one of the most clinical players that the All Blacks have got up their sleeves. So certainly a player they'll want to get the ball to for the Italians. 
the icky players throughout this game. I believe their back line, a little bit of the unpredictability of Ange Capuzio. Definitely going to be exciting to see how he goes. And he will actually be going head to head with Mark Talia in this game. That will be a very entertaining one to watch. And another key player for the Italians. I'm actually going to go with two here. And that is going to be Danilo Fischetti and also Marco Riccioni. The reason I say that is the All Blacks scrum at times throughout this Rugby World Cup has been under a lot of pressure. And I feel like the two props for Italy, if they can get it right early, that will put the All Blacks under that pressure once more. And then if they start giving away those penalties, they start losing the momentum. And that is exactly what Italy need, to try and shut down the ABs as quickly as possible. And perhaps that front row is a way of being able to do it. But looking through at the previous fixtures for these two sides, the All Blacks and Italy both playing two games throughout this Rugby World Cup. Thus far, the first game for the All Blacks was the opening game in the Rugby World Cup, losing to France 27 points to 13. And what was expected to be a lot closer, but just didn't quite end up going that way. The ABs losing by 14 points, not the start to the World Cup that they were after. And I should mention this lineup that they've gone with here, actually relatively similar in some regards to what they did have in that first game, other than a couple of injury returns. So I'm curious to see if it works this time round, seeing as it didn't. In the game up against Le Bleu, then the second game for the All Blacks, they did win it up against Namibia, 71 points to 3. A comfortable victory, but a completely different side to what we do see going head to head with the Italians, them for the Italians. They had their first game up against Namibia, winning at 52 points to 8. It was relatively close throughout the first about 25-30 minutes, and then Italy just started pouring on the pressure, getting try after try, and building themselves up. A very nice total. Then their next game was up against Uruguay. And once again, they were pushed at times throughout that game. But 38 points to 17. They got themselves the win. So sitting currently two from two throughout this Rugby World Cup, which does actually have them in second on the table just ahead of the All Blacks. But now we are up to that stage of the video where I try and give a prediction for this match. Now, it's a hard one to guess. Well, no, I shouldn't be guessing. I should know, shouldn't I? This game is going to be a very tricky one to predict. You know what they say, parents are always right. So I'm going to ask my mum. <laughs> she will tell us who's going to win this game. All Blacks all the way by at least 30. And if they don't win by 30, I'm not watching them ever again. <laughs> bit harsh, isn't it? <laughs> no, only kidding. Not. No, they've got to win. They've got to win. And they've got to win big. Otherwise... What's the point of being there? Hey, Hamish. Exactly right, Mum. Uh, the player that I think will do well is Will Jordan because I've got $20 on them and he better score some tries so I can get some $10 free ones or whatever <laughs> they are. Bonus bets, that's the one. <laughs> you know someone with a gambling problem. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully they put Will Jordan back at fullback. Why isn't Lester in the Whanuku in the reserves? I don't know. I don't know. It's Fozzy, isn't it? Fozzy, why isn't he in the reserves? Come on, mate. Um, bring um, McKenzie on with about 20 minutes to go in place of Richie. Roy Gard mm -hmm. comes on for Aaron. Too easy. They'll, and they'll run it home for us. There we have it. The All Blacks winning by 30 plus the prediction by a parent. And as we know, parents are always right. So we've got to take their word. Are we mumsy? I've never predicted a game yet. Is that where I get it from? Yeah. yeah. My dad is yelling from the other room, All Blacks by less than 13. That is the other prediction in the household. Everyone's in a rugby mood today. And that mood may drastically change <laughs> depending on how the All Blacks go tomorrow morning. But thank you all very much for tuning into this preview. I'm saying the All Blacks by 25. See whether or not they can get the job done. But we will be live on the channel doing the commentary when the match is taking place. So be sure to check that out. Also, if you are new, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Been a bit more of an unorthodox video, but if you want more like this, sure let me know in the comments down below and also your score predictions for this game in the comments down below as well but thank you all very much for tuning in and i will see you all for the next one